And sometimes I do intend to grab stuff and I just simply miss it. Holy schnite. Schnite? What's that mean? Can we cheesy McSqueezy him? I think we can. That's sneaky though. Look at that. I could have just gone right on by there and he would have nailed me. Damn. Instead, who got the sneak off, huh? Huh? Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. This is the Insane Nightmare series. I'm the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we're going to go out and do the Mushroom Mining Company. But before we do that, uh, we have a couple things to do here at the base. Um, I'm going to grab some stone and some grass. And we're going to upgrade to the next level of armor. And we're also going to make ourselves a new shovel. But we can do a yellow and an axe. So we'll get those upgrades going. In addition, I've decided that I'm going to make myself a pipe uh, machine gun. And to do that, we need six pipes, three glue. Pipes um, we make in our inventory. I thought... That's where we used to make those in the forge. Um, but apparently we do it in our inventory now. Or maybe it has been that way for a while. I don't remember, to be honest with you. Yeah, I guess we... Oh, we can... Okay, so we can do it both ways, actually. Gotcha. Okay. That's actually useful. It's probably been that way for a while, too, and I just never paid attention to it. Because usually... I rarely make pipes. I usually... Just loot them. Well, actually, that's not true. I do I do usually end up making a bunch of pipes for pipe bombs later on, but I've always used the forge to do it. So, all right, let's put that away. We need three glue. And when we get our next point, we're about 40% of the way there. We're going to put it into machine gunner. And this is going to be, um, it's going to be our oh shit weapon. Or one of them. We have the pistol for that purpose as well. But this will be a pack a little bit more punch. All right, we'll craft that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this up here. And I'm going to keep the hunting rifle in this slot. And we'll put the pipe rifle in slot four. You know what, I think I'm going to change this up again just so I can confuse myself later when I need to remember it the most. Let's go melee here, pistol, pipe, and then rifle. And then when we get our shotgun, we'll slide everything down uh, even one more. All right, so knife is in three, axe is in seven. Knife is in three, axe is in seven. Remember that. Okay, let's put all of this stuff on. Um, and we will take the mod off of here. And then all of this stuff can be scrapped. All right, do we have any water? That one almost has some water, that one does. So let's cook up some water. And then we'll turn that into a red tea. Uh, no, not hops we need. Just at the moment. We are doing pretty good on food. I think I'll eat this last corn on the cob. Get our food mostly topped off. And then we're going to need to also have a red tea or two. Where are we at with that? Yeah, let's, let's throw two of these back. Scrap you, scrap you. Turn you into tea. That's just about perfect. I think we're in pretty damn good shape here. 
Uh, why don't we top off our knife? Just make sure that's fully repaired. Oh, and while we're here, let's go ahead and put down three crop plots and plant three potato seeds. Get going on that. I'm expecting to... Oh, we got an achievement. Nice. I'm expecting to get a bunch of mushrooms from the mushroom cavern place too, so that'll come in handy later for making food. Steak and potatoes and vegetable stew, I think, are the two main things. Maybe shepherd's pie uses them too later on, I'm not sure, but it'll be a little while before we can make shepherd's pie, so. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's take these Molotovs with us. I'm a little, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit apprehensive about going into that mine. It's killed me before because there's not, you know, you don't really have like a lot of doors and stuff you can hide behind, so it's a little dangerous. Let's take this pipe pistol with us so we can sell it to Wrecked. And I think we're good to go. All right, knife in three, axe in seven, <laughs> and oh shit, weapon in five, which we should probably load if we actually want to use it in an oh shit moment. What do you think? Yeah, maybe? Okay. All right, guys, I think we're ready to set out here. We are in pretty good shape. Let's do it. We're heading down this way. Let's, uh, let's actually do that achievement to craft a farm plot. Nice. Or challenge. I call them achievements. Challenges. Kind of the same thing, I suppose. Alright, I see an Arlene over by where we need to go. So let's get her cleared out of the way. Oh shit, there's skater punk there too. Alright. Let's deal with Arlene first. Oh, she lost track of us. Right in the boob. Alright. Uh, I don't want skater punk hanging around out here. While we go inside, so let's deal with him. And he's a little tougher, so I think he deserves a 7-6-2. also send an arrow his way. Well, he juked out of the way. Oh, shit. Didn't get a good hit there. All right. Oh. Knife is in three, OG. Knife is in three. All right. We managed to kill him without him hitting us, so that's a good thing. Knife is in three. Axe is in seven. Knife is in three. Oh, shit's in five. <laughs> trying to train myself to use my hotkeys and not my, my mouse wheel alright before we go in there are there any other zombadoos around we need to clear out that, that not, that's not to say that, that more won't show up later but at least we can clear the place initially yeah I do see one more zomb over here Nice. We one shot at his ass. Um, let's go get our arrow back. Oh, no arrow. Okay. Yeah, this place is actually a little dangerous. More dangerous than going, like, say, into a house because we don't have doors and stuff we can hide behind. So we're going to have to really be on our toes here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just leave that stuff in there for now. If I remember and if I have space, I'll grab it on the way out. That's nitrate, so we're going to leave that for now as well. There's the mushrooms. Why don't we put our torch down here? And light 
light things up a little bit. I'm sure, we're gonna have some Zeke's in that room. three red dots it looks like there's a crawler right there survivor medium is complete medium what medium survive for 14 hours okay I'll take that um all right let's see if we can pull the crawler first without getting anybody else's attention. Alright, now we have two more to deal with. Um... Oh, right there. That's an Edgar. Quietly back out of here. And let's bring him back up here. Okay. Edgar's down. One more to go. Well, for this section. So I guess he's behind there, maybe. There's uh there's like a little oh. He's right up there. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Shit. That was not good. I missed him. Seriously, you don't see me right here. All right, well, chance to redeem ourselves with a sneak shot, which I just fucked up. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Well, all right. Let's just move along and not even say anything about that embarrassing incident. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere sometimes, man, I swear. All red dots are clear out of the room. Let's get the shrooms. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, I am not the kind of player that has to grab every single thing there is. I am selective about what I grab. Um, mostly because of inventory management purposes. But sometimes... I have enough of something and I don't feel like I need more, you know, but, uh, if you're wondering why I don't grab everything, that's why just the way I roll. And sometimes I do intend to grab stuff and I just simply miss it. Holy schnite. Schnite. What's that mean? Wow. That guy. Um, okay. Can we cheesy McSqueezy him? I think we can. That's sneaky, though. Look at that. I could have just gone right on by there and he would have nailed me. Damn. Instead, who got the sneak off, huh? Huh? Yeah. Okay. This place, like I said, this place is kind of dangerous. It's got me a little nervous. Damn, that would have been bad. All right, I think that's just a pit that doesn't have an exit. 
Uh, is that a zombie or a corpse? There is a red dot over there. Oh shit. Alright, I don't know who that is, but... Darlene. Or no, sorry, Marlene. Well, she's not smart enough to walk through the opening there, which works out in our favor. All right. Nice. Pumpkin pie. Beautiful. I'm not going to take that sand. Oh, right. I remember this place. I was actually killed here. Um, The last single player Seven Days to Die series I did was right before 1.0 came out. And it was a, it was a Dead is Dead series. And I was killed here and that ended that particular session. So we're going to... We're going to... Kind of cheese this a little bit here. Just to be on the safe side. We won't do a lot more cheesing as time goes on, but it's uh sometimes it's just judicious to do so in certain situations like this one, since I already kind of know. How dangerous this this is gonna be. Um what did I have in there? Is that maybe? I don't know. I don't remember what I had in there. Okay. So what we're gonna do is very quietly sneak around the corner. There's two zombies right inside of this little cage here. Um oh you know what else we could do to just slow them down? For a moment, is put that there. You know, we could also do this now that I think about it. The thing is, is this fence here is really weak, so they break it super fast, which is what killed me. I wasn't expecting that. Um, let's get rid of that too, so we don't make noise stepping on it. So, let's hit this guy first. Oh, sounds like we got the attention of both of them. All right. Fair enough. Let them break through, uh, break through and then we'll do the usual. We'll get some bleeds and stuff going on them. One down. What are you doing, man? Come over here. Quit hitting on the wall. You dummy. I need to try and get him to come over here. Seriously, dude? Who is this Zombo? I can't tell who it is. Oh, there we go. That's Janitor. Okay. Oh. Trade an arm for an arm, huh? Except for he lost his arm. I just bruised mine. Okay, we'll leave this here in case we need to retreat back through it again. But, uh, that ta Oh, I had my torch in that slot. That's what I, what I had in there. I know, I forget shit easy. What happens when you get old? And when you have COVID brain, too. Which I do at the moment. Unfortunately. 
have COVID. Um, okay, I think that's it for in here. We might as well pick these back up since they're not broken. And up we go. We have the yellow dot, which means we have the last batch we gotta take care of. Uh, okay, so I see two red dots directly ahead of us. Hmm. Alright, let's get this. There's an Edgar. Alright, sneaky sneak off on him. And then let's retreat back down here. Let's see if he's gonna come. He should come down the ladder, but let's just make sure that he does. Oh yeah, he's coming down. Alright. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. This uh death groans. Didn't sound like a death groan. All right, one more Zeke to deal with. It looks like a Ronald McDonald. All right, we'll take him head on. Or head off, as the case may be. Very good. All right. That takes care of this place. That went a lot smoother than it could have. Check out the loot. Take this. And let's go ahead and break this. Nice. That's some really good shit there. And okay. I will take all of that. That is really good. All right. Let's, um... Swap out these two. And, um, I don't think I can put, well, I don't have room for that and I wouldn't put it on there anyway, so we'll save that for something else. Can I put it on the, oh, I can put it on the shovel, I'll bet. Yeah. There we go. Frees up a slot and makes our shovel just a little bit tougher. A beautiful thing. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do. It's a duffel bag down here. Is go along and uh, just pick up all the mushrooms. And then uh, I'll meet you guys back at the trader for the turn in, and then we'll take the next job. Well, great. Here you go. <clears throat> Corn, Don't taters, molotovs, wood, or rifle rifle world. Improves rifle crafting skill. Um, I think... I generally don't have too much trouble coming across these magazines. So, I think we're going to take the molotovs. Alright. Um, jobs. Next job. Oh, jeez, these are far away now. Shit. Well, that'll get us out and about. Um, let's do this. I'm Clear gonna zombies. make you an offer you can't New life refuse. hope cabin. Get moving, right. jackass. This don't pay by the fine. Take a fucking look. <laughs> uh, we want to sell him this pistol. And I think we're gonna hang on to everything else at the moment here. And I believe, okay, he resets on day 10. We've already checked his inventory. We got the bow off of him the other day, so that's good. Thank you very much, and now you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm going to head back to the base, put stuff away, and then we're going to head out and do this next uh, job, which is going to be way to the west. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's going to get us out, out into the map a little bit more. I can also remove our this marker here. That was for the airdrop that we got in yesterday's episode.
I think I scrapped my yellow shovel, didn't I? <laughs> uh, that's something I would do. Let's make another one. Not that it's a big deal, but still. Principle of the thing, right? Let's also top off this and this. And I think we're in pretty good shape on everything else right now. We'll throw back a couple of bacon and eggs. Turn this into a red tea. And let's drink a red tea. All right, guys. So um, since we're going to go a little further out, um, let's see. We got four bacon and eggs. We got four red tea with us. Um, we've got two big first aid kits. I think I'm going to take a honey in case we get infected. Let's take a cast. Oh, I guess we already have a cast. Um, vitamins would help with fatigue, painkillers with concussions. Just trying to have be a little bit better prepared in case we, you know, end up having to stay out there for, for quite some time. Um, of course, the downside of that is we don't quite have as much inventory space, but we'll just have to be judicious about what we loot. Okay, let's head on over there. All right, so it looks like this PI is either over the other side or up on this mountain. Um, yeah, so shoot. <clears throat> it's a little bit risky going um, up the mountain just because, you know, it's hard. It's more difficult to fight on the terrain. Where's that chicken at? Oh, that was fail. You too, huh? All because I'm trying to get a damn chicken. Gotcha, you little bastard. Okay, um, I'm going to take a bacon and eggs for healing and save our medikits for more dire situations. It'll get, that's not going to get us completely back up, but it'll get us close. Let's move back this direction now. There we go. Nice bleed out. Um, all right. Well, let's head on up over the hill. I don't see a road going up there anywhere on the map, you know, that we've uncovered. So we're just going to kind of go cross country until we find the road. All right, there's two Zeeks over that way. Let's avoid them. All right, I heard a Zom over here making noise, and slippers don't make noise. So let's see if we can figure out where that guy is and eliminate him first before we get started on the quest. All right, there's a Darlene, but she's pretty far off. I don't think we need to worry about her unless she wanders closer. All right, well, let's go ahead and do the job then. Oh man, nice. We can make quality three pipe machine gun. Do I have six pipes on me? No. Okay, we'll do that when we get back to the base. Do I have points yet? 
I do. All right, let's put that point into machine gunner. Nice. All right, we're generally clear out this way and this way. Near as I can tell. All right. Uh, oh, yep, there's the Zom right there. That's the one I was hearing. All right, let's see if we can draw this guy out of here. How did he get on the porch? No, over here, asshole. All right, now he's hitting on the fence. Ow. Really? Oh shit. Party started. Okay, I've done this PI several times. Um, I think there's, yeah, there's badness up in here. Those guys are lootable. Construction site box with some iron. Oh, nice. It's really good stuff, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to make a... Isn't there a, a pathway? Yeah, there's a hatch over here. We have to make a drop box. All right, trying to remember exactly what's down here. Hopefully not dogs. Tell you what, before we do this, Go back out here and let's just store some stuff. All right, we got that taken care of. Um, let's come back to that later. There's a another zom back in this little shed here. It looks like it's probably a skater. Uh, no, it's a Marlene, I think. Nice. And then I think there's one over that way, too. Oh. Right, okay. Yep, there's that hatch, too. I remember that now. Some cement here we could get later. More iron. Okay, let's pull this next Zikaru. It's like down in that bowl right there. Isn't there something back here to loot too? Oh, trash pile and garbage. And maybe something hidden behind here, as I recall. Yep, double bag. With some cloth. Okay. 
You know what I think I want to do here is... Let's make ourselves a way to get up on this roof if things really get bad. Oh, is there not a zombie down here? I thought there was. All right, guess not. All right, let's kill this guy, whoever he is. Sounds like Edgar. Sounds like Edgar because it is Edgar. Alright, got his ass out of the way. I don't remember if there's a Zeke in that little corn patch or not. Um, no. There isn't. Okay, good. There's a Hawaii Five-O out there. Might be worth it to lure him over to the fence and kill him too. None of this corn is harvestable. Well, for corn, anyway. Let's grab all this wood. Sounds like we are thirsty. Let's pull, uh, throw back two bacon and eggs. And another red tea. Let's also set these back to blocks. So I don't forget that they're blocks when I need them the most. Let's drop a couple things back off in our drop chest and then we'll go in. Oh shit, there's a bunch of zombies out here. What's that? Got a horde come in or something. Okay, that's not ideal, is it? Well, let's get into the house and clear that. We can always retreat up on this shed if things get really bad, so... This house has a collapsing floor. And there's a Zom right there. And then all that's left is two, I think, two zombies downstairs. Yeah, it's not the collapsible part. that up. Um, I don't think there's a Zom up there, but I can't, can't say for sure. Alright, that's good. quality too well we have a wooden bow so we won't be making any more primitive bows we may end up spending the night here too just because uh, I don't want to be going 
back at night, especially not across the mountains. Just trying to figure out which one of these are the collapsibles. Not those. So I guess it's just those. All right, now, um, let's grab this. I don't see. I don't see the zombies down there. Okay, well, then let's go back out here. Come on, get down there. some stone to repair this. Alright, there's a Marlene and a crawler it looks like. Alright, it takes care of her. Right here. Nice. Did we? Yeah, we killed him. Okay, good. Got him. All right, that's it. We got the quest done. Let's get the loots. And then I need to make a decision as to whether or not I'm going to try and make it back home or just spend the night here. It's getting pretty damn late. Seven six twos. Medical. A Mo Power Electronics box. All right, vehicles and wiring. We can make the bicycle now. Except for we need the workbench though. Um, that's we're probably just gonna sell because we're not specced into it. Ooh, that's nice. Very good. Okay. This, let's... Do we have two slots on here now? We don't. Okay. Well, what I could do is I could swap it out. Um, You know, when we're mining, or mining stones specifically. So we'll hang on to it. I don't know if there's any loot back in here or not. Let's grab some extra torches and use them. It just goes back up to that little barn with the hay bales. And that goes up to the other barn. Yeah, it's definitely too late. Anything down there? It's just debris, it looks like. For us to, to make it back tonight. So we are going to spend the night in this house. Up in the loft here. Let's clear this stuff out of the way. Some 
nice little collection of stuff. Um, can I do this? I assume I checked the sink, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, I didn't check the fridge. Oh, nice. Miso. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. Alright, guys. So I'm just going to hunker down in this loft and in the morning I'll go decide what I'm gonna grab out of our drop chest and head back home and we'll start the next episode with the turn-in for Trader Wrecked so hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode bye bye